All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to take your seats, bring your drinks, and we've got our second band of the evening. Um, this is Gareth Jones, and he's brought some friends with him. And you are from? York. York. Woo! Big up the York Massive. Can't believe I said that. <laughs> Give him a round of applause, guys. Thank you very much. Off you go. Thank you. Cheers. Are you all having a good evening so far? Yes. Yeah, a few people are. Yes. Yes, that's good. That's good. Well, uh, yeah, we're uh, going to play some songs for you, me and my band of uh, very, very capable musicians here. Uh, we are going to do some songs. Uh, this first song is a song uh, about my mother-in-law, uh, which is risky territory, really. But um, all of you married men out there will know that it's important to get your mother-in-law on your side uh, early on in the game. So uh, this is a song to, uh, to do that, really. And it's called Ode to Jan. And it's about all her many children. And it goes like this. Well, let me tell you the tale about a woman named Jan Jan was the daughter of a family man She was gentle and loving and wise and kind She loved the Lord Jesus and she knew her own mind Always aimed to do the best she could Then one fine day she met a man named Rob He had a head full of hair, he was a real heartthrob He had a spanner in his hand, a twinkle in his eye and Jan said, sweet Rob, you're the one for me Why don't we settle down and start a family? Rob said, cool, I'll do my best to oblige so then along came Deborah, Deborah Jane She had music in her blood, she was headed for fame She made everybody smile, and when she sang him a song And Jan was amazed at what a baby could do So she said to Rob, why don't we try for two? Rob looked at the budget and said, yeah, we could probably stretch to that Well, baby number two was a talented chap He had a big old brain and read books and that And there was nothing that he set his mind to that he couldn't achieve Jan said, boy, how blessed could I be? But with babies this good, we're gonna have to have three. Rob said, all right, but three's the absolute limit, okay? And the next baby boy was greatly admired by many a man and woman and child. He fell in love with a red-headed girl, went and joined the army and he traveled the world. And Jan was proud as proud could be, but there was still room on that family tree for one more. Rob said, are you sure? And the next baby girl by which they were blessed Had a real big heart inside her chest She cared for everybody that she ever did meet And Jan said, man, you know I love these four But what do you say, can we stretch to one more? Rob said, mm, we're gonna need a bigger car And the next baby girl was Rachel Claire She had big brown eyes and long brown hair Everybody loved it when she made them laugh the Jan said, man, just look at my brood But what harm could just one more do? Rob said, all right, but I'm buying a minibus, okay? And the last of the gang was a drummer by trade He drummed all night and he drummed all day Rob said, well, what are we going to call him, Jan? The Jan said, can I get a drum roll, please? I'm going to call him Steve Said, hey, listen up, crew, we've done for you all we can do. Now go out there and go change the world. And sure enough, that's what they did. God bless all you loyal kids, and God bless good old Jan, where it all began. Yeah, God bless good old Jan, where it all began. Thank you very much. So this next song is a song that I wrote um, shortly after finding out I was going to become a parent, uh, which is quite a scary time. Any of you people out there who have kids will know. Um, we, uh, yeah, I basically wrote this song off the back of finding out. And uh, me and my wife, we took a pregnancy test thinking there's no way on earth we could be pregnant at all. And then nine months later, our baby girl was born. Uh, so uh, this is a song uh, called Becoming, Upon Becoming a Parent. And uh, it goes like this. I need some gospel swell to start off with. That's suitably gospel I thought. Well, we found out today that you're on your way and you're due to be with us by June. Is this just a little song to say that your mama and I are over the moon? Mom 
said to me we were expecting Well gee I was surprised to say the least Cause I couldn't quite believe just how quickly we conceived Cause they say it usually takes a go or two Thank you Now in the space of a day our whole world it has changed There's a pram to be born of plans to be made We gotta think of a name that won't get you bullied at school Well, you don't really need to worry about that Cause I'll never let you down All you need to know is that your mom and I will love you so Well, we found out today that you're on your way And you're gonna be with us about you So this is a good song to say that your mom and I are up in the moon Now it comes best too it was racing inside of my chest as I stared at the plus on the pregnancy test Cause it's true, I confess, I was more than a little bit scared You see, I don't have a clue what on earth I will do On the day that the doctor presents me with you But I hope to much soon, cause I'm ever so underprepared I guess we got some growing to do And who knows just what the future holds All you need to know is that your mum and I will love you so Here up three ups and blows It goes ooh Thank you. I have three songs about my baby girl. And that's one of them. I'm going to do two more of them if you'll, uh, if you'll allow. This is a song which was inspired by the day she was actually born. And uh, it's called The Day You Came To Be. And uh, it goes like this. Well, it was two o'clock when she woke Saying, babe, I think my water's just broke So I said, well, there's no need for alarm Just do your best to stay calm And as we made our way downtown to the maternity ward I remember feeling scared to death by what was in store It's been a long time coming, but it feels so good Better than I ever even thought that it could I never really knew that I could feel this way inside Cause I'm about as happy as a man can be Now that you're finally here with me The day you came to be was the best day of my life Now back in the delivery room this baby's gonna come soon And your mother held my hand so tight I knew the end was in sight And I watched in amazement As you made your way into the world But they said Congratulations sir, you got yourself a girl It's been a long time coming But it feels so good Better than I ever even thought that it could And I never really knew that I could feel this way about as happy as a man can be Now that you're finally here with me The day you came to be was the best day of my life And now it's one year later and you're doing just fine And the last few months have been the happiest time that I've 
I've ever known Now it's one year later and you're doing just fine And the last few months have been the happiest time that I have ever known It's been a long time coming but it feels so good Better than I ever even thought that it could And I never really knew that I could feel this way inside Cause I'm about as happy as a man can be Now that you're finally here with me The day you came to pay was the best day of my life The day you came to pay was the best day of my life The day you came to pay was the best day As you can probably tell, we stopped being cool quite a, quite a while ago. What with being parents and all. Um, this is the last song about my girl, about my baby girl. Um, basically, I've started doing a little bit of daddy daycare, uh, looking after my girl, and uh, this is uh, a song about that, uh, and it's called When Mummy Went Back to Work. Today's the day I'm sorry to say that mummy went back to work. Things would appear to be worse than I think. She's left me at home with this book. The last few months that I spent with mum have been the happiest that I've ever had. Sounds harsh to say, but it's not quite the same when you're being looked after by dad. See, daddy, God bless me, just isn't the best at tending to a baby's needs. Like the fact that I messed myself an hour ago, so would you kind of mind changing me, please? Now, don't get me wrong, I know you're doing your best and that parenting is still quite new. But if you stay at home, it's going to work for us both. Can I offer a suggestion or two? You don't need to talk in that ridiculous voice I mean, it's honestly achieving nothing I don't think it's cute and to tell you the truth It just really does my nothing On Mondays we go to the library And then Thursday it's mums and tots And I really don't care if you're the only dad there You're going whether you like it or not And yes, you do your best to entertain Like blowing raspberries on my tummy But you do seem to think that it's a barrel of laughs And I've yet to find it funny But I am still grateful that you hear me, Dad Even if I do my doubts And I want to be grateful that you hear me, Dad I reckon we can feel that Grateful that you hear me, Dad, even if I do my doubts. And yeah, I know it's a bit of a change, but I reckon we can figure it out. Please don't take this all personally. I mean, you seem to be a nice enough chap. And I don't mean to offend, but tell me again, when did Mama say she'd be back? <laughs> and that's the end. I think that's the quickest version we've ever done that as well. That's, uh, that was fast. So do we have uh, anybody with a job in the room? Woo! Three people, three people are employed in this room, it's amazing. Um, this, is a, this is a song which is inspired by traveling with work. Uh, sometimes when you travel with work, it's required of you to share a hotel room with one of your colleagues. And uh, this is a, a song which was inspired by that moment. And uh, really it's kind of a love song to my wife in a way because um, it makes you realize exactly what you've got at home when you have to share uh, a room with one of your colleagues. So this is about that. My colleagues shall remain nameless uh, and it's called In Bed With Ed Parker. And it goes like this. Two miles from here, the girl my aching heart holds dear is In the bath having a beer while I'm stuck in this prayer in Somewhere off a junction of the A19 The woman I love, the girl of my dreams is Going to bed without me and it's a sorry old state I'm in mean. Cause instead I'm in bed with Ed Parker But it's just for work on my ad And it's not sympathy I'm after Because that Edward is an alright lad But the thing is, Ed's not you, he doesn't do what you do He doesn't kindle my affections And as far as any spooning goes, well, that's out of the question And how 
I wish that I could hold you tight, keep you warm in the middle of the night. But I tell you, man, it's just not right us being so far apart. And I know it's lame because it's only been a couple of days, but I don't care. I just wanted to say that I miss you every time that I gotta go away, and you're always in my heart. But tonight I'm in bed with a Parker, and as I rest my weary head, I can't help but notice that we're terribly close. Are you sure this is a king size bed? And I hope you don't find it offensive or rude of me to say that as much as I admire you, man, let's not do this again, eh? Hey. I'll be getting the train. I'll be on my way to see you again, and then back together we will be. And as roommates go, it's not that bad. It's not the worst night that I've ever had. And actually, I am quite glad you don't score like Pete from IT. Oh! That's a quick number. It's a quick number, man. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna sing a very sad song for you now. Like many people, I have uh, many dark and sinister secrets in my life, and this is one of them. Um, it's uh, well, I'll let the song speak for itself. Darling, you best sit down, I have something I need to say Though I fear that when I tell you, you'll not look at me the same way But it's time that I came clean and told you all about the day that I became A criminal, criminal. A few weeks back, I went and had a run-in with the law They caught me doing 80 on the A64 the police sent me a letter with a prosecution form saying I must attend a speed awareness course. But you've not heard the entirety of the story thus far. And knowing just how gracious and forgiving that you are, I told them that it was in fact you driving the car. And so I booked you in for a speed awareness course. You know me, my darling, I would gladly take the blame If I didn't have such an impeccable reputation to maintain So I'm sad to say it falls on me to call on you again To take the blame for something that I've done Forgive me, oh my love, I sure do hope that you don't mind but I figured that you'd rather this than pay the hefty fine And I do hope that perhaps you can forgive me given time I'd forgive you if I were in your shoes I changed the situation but by now it's beyond my power And I know I owe you big time my beloved oh my flower But you better get your skates on cause it starts in half an hour If you don't You'll need to go to court If you don't You'll need to go to court It's a very sad song <laughs> Shameful behaviour And you can actually get in a lot of trouble for that There was that, uh, that MP who uh, went to jail for six months So don't do that um, It's very bad uh, this is our penultimate song. We're trying not to do it too quickly. Uh, it's uh, a song about sausage rolls, because why not? And uh, it's called Wasn't That a Lovely Sausage Roll? And it goes like this. sausage roll. It really did hurt the spot. The pastry was almost flaky and it was warm but it wasn't too hot. Wasn't that a lovely sausage roll, that one that I had just then? It was just so incredibly tasty. I could eat it all over again. I could tell it was going to be a good one. From when I first laid eyes upon it, I saw that sausage roll sitting there and I thought, yeah, I want it. It was golden brown in colour with a beautiful glossy sheen. 
It was exactly the kind of sausage roll a sausage roll should aspire to be. Oh, what a wonderful thing that it was. What a union of pastry and pig. And to think that I wasn't going to go out for lunch. Well, thank goodness I did. It really was tremendous, though. And I know that I'm harping on, but it only seems right to remember it. Because I am rather sad now it's gone. Mike Crombo! Mr. Mike Crombo on the guitar. Never quite got the ending for that right. <laughs> right, this is our last song. If you like any of these songs, you can go to garethjonesmusic.com, and there's loads of songs on there, um, and uh, or on Facebook, whatever. It's all on there. Uh, so this is our last song. Thank you very much for having us. And uh, this is a song. It's about molting. Um, it was written in the summer months. Uh, when my wife was uh, losing a lot of hair for some reason. It just happens in the summer months. And uh, it's called We Need to Talk About Your Hair. And it's about finding hair all over the house. And uh, it goes like this. Your hair gets everywhere and it's driving me slightly mad. And you know that I hate to bring it up, my love, but it's time a conversation was had. What shampoo are you currently using? Because I'm pretty sure that it's not working. Given the fact that wherever I go, one of your heads is lurking. Now I've tried not to let it get to me, because I know that it's all quite petty. But anyone would think you might fish out the sink that I was married to some kind of yeti. Your current rate of molting puts my patience through its paces. And if it sounds like I'm exaggerating, well, I found them in the following places. In the kitchen sink, floating on the top of one or two of my drinks, lying in the corner of the living room floor, and I swear they've been there for like a month or more. Hidden in the middle of a grilled cheese sardine, even found a couple in the chicken biryani. Swear they're getting everywhere, it's not much fun. And hang about, there's even one on my tongue. So you can see where I'm coming from. No, 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 I'm far from perfect. Without blemish, I am not. And I'm sure there's things that I do too that irritate you somewhat. Like the times that we've gone out somewhere and I've forgotten to lock the door. Or I often tend to leave my pants just lying on the bedroom floor. But this whole thing has gone too far and it's time that I let you know that if we don't do something about it soon, then I am literally going to explode. So let's work towards a solution. Because Lord knows that we're not quite there yet. But darling, perhaps in the meantime, can I suggest you use a hairnet? Sticking out of the middle of a quiche Lorraine Clinging to the side of a potato skin And curled up at the bottom of a biscuit tin I pull one out of the middle of a chocolate eclair I mean, for crying out loud, darling, how to get there? If this is where we're heading, then I'm fucking through Cos I'm really kind of worried that you'll end up bored
We'll make an energetic song about Hellos. <laughs> Thank you very much for having us.